Hey gamers, I am Cybersnake7 and it's Thursday guys and you know what that means, it's Man vs Master System. Yep, i got another 10 games to stick onto the shelf and into the collection and as you can see the shelf has kind of lowered itself so it allows me now to stick these 4 rows high. So I'm going to get on this shelf now 232 games but that still leaves 37 titles after that I've got to try and find room for so where I'm going to stick them is anybody's guess but I'm going to worry about that when the time comes but let's crack on guys let's crack on with games 51 to 60 right game 51 is one of two sports titles um, this one I'm not a fanatical fan of this sport but the way this plays I enjoy and I'll explain that when I go into it and it is super kickoff really really nice condition 99 pence bid won it for 99 pence can't argue with that but as you can see this game is like a top down view of the action and the only reason I like this game is because I was a really massive fanatical fan of sensible soccer on the Amiga um, when I was younger and it's the only football game I can actually say that I really truly enjoyed so I'm not into all these FIFAs and all these PEZs with all the updated graphics and the realism and oh I've got the latest players for the game this year rip off and just don't appeal to me so I just want to pick the game up and play it so that's why this game is a half decent game um, graphically you can't say fair it's just a top down view game the sound effects ain't brilliant but the game plays well enough uh, and I'm happy to have it so there you go guys that's game 51 that is Super Kickoff. Game 52, another sports title, uh, one of many tennis titles, but I bought the sequel to this one first because I read my retro magazine and it says that this is kind of a hard game to get out of. But as per usual, you buy them and then 10 copies appear on eBay. So I picked up Wimbledon 2. Uh, and this ain't a bad game at all, really really good graphics, plays very well um, and it, it, it's got a very good realism to it um, obviously this is the only game I've played so far so I'm going to say this is the best tennis game I've played on the system to now but um, premise of the story is fairly straightforward, you're a beginner, start from the bottom work your way through, you beat all the major tournaments and you end up at Wimbledon and you've got to win Wimbledon it's as simple as that but as I say uh, plays well enough, graphically quite impressive um, and I'm interested to see what the first one's like see if it's any different in any way, I'm not too sure or any of the other tennis games are going to be better than this but only time will tell, but there you go guys that's game 52, that's Wimbledon 2 game 53 I've never played this game before up until now uh, and it's like a multi-format game, it's been on a few systems and it's a nice little puzzle game and it is uh, Marble Madness uh, graphically I don't think it changes on any system it's ever been on but it's basically a time based puzzle game where you've got to get your marble from the top from the start to the finish uh, and you've obviously got things blocking your way you've got to really stay on the actual maze itself because you can fall off the side and there's things that push you off and there's puzzles and the, you know there's a lot of things to stop you but it's quite a tough challenge to be honest with you. There's spot, uh, six levels to this game. I got through th to the third level I think. Um, and it is quite a tough challenge uh, and pretty impressive. Um, and I quite do, I, I do really uh, quite like this game. So that is game 53 guys. That is Marble Madness. Game 54. Game 54 is just an all round classic platforming game for me. Um, I think every version I've played this game on whatever system it's been on I've always enjoyed the game and this is no exception uh, it's Prince of Persia very very good game this is always loved this game this one's got 12 levels um, and the push the boat out for this graphically it's very very impressive and plays quite fluidly to be honest but like all Prince of Persia it's just a time based game get through the levels kill the main boss and then save the princess pretty simple formula to be honest but very very enjoyable and uh, another classic game to add to my collection anyway absolutely love Prince of Persia so that guys is game 50 
54 losing count again. That's game 54, guys. That's Prince of Persia. Game 55. Uh, I only mentioned this one last week when I was talking about Dead Angle. Um, plays more or less the same, but obviously your characters on the, the, the it's like a side scrolling action game. This one now, I did prefer this game on the Mega Drive over the Master System version. The Master System version is okay, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a bit of a sore throat today. Um, plays okay, uh, you've got six rounds to this. Uh, obviously, you've got your, your levels and then you have your bonus levels. Uh, follows the movie to a T, technically, and it is Dick Tracy. Um, as you can see, if you can see on the back, you've got your side scrolling action, you can shoot people in the foreground and the background and the side. You've got bonus levels. You know, graphically it's not too bad, but I'd just prefer the Mega Drive version over this, definitely. Played that to death, uh, the Mega Drive version. But still, a great little title to put into my collection. And that is game 55, guys. That is Dick Tracer. Game 56 is, I just love bike games and I know this is going to be one of two, well actually it's three bike games I do like on the Master System and I've got one of them so far, the other two should turn up, but this I play to death, I absolutely love this when my friend used to have his Master System and had it built into his system this game but I've played it for hours and hours um, and it is super hang on or should I say hang on. Not the Mega Drive version Super Hang On. And I've got to admit, I do kind of prefer this one over the Mega Drive version. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, I just do. A really, really nostalgic uh, game this is to me. And very, very enjoyable. And uh, as I say, this is probably one of the only Master System games that I've played uh, constantly. Round my mates on it all the time. Uh, really, really good game. Uh, very, very enjoyable. Absolutely love this game. Um, eight courses to this one. So it's a, it's, it's a tough challenge, and as I say, absolutely love this game, glad to get it uh, loose, you know, boxed and complete, rather than have it built into a system. But there you go guys, that is game 56. Yeah, 56 guys, that is hang on. Now, hang on, because I've got to try and squeeze this into here. Tight squeeze. Right, 57. Another classic game. I, I, once I've got the second one to this collection and I've got Sonic Spinball, I have to pick this one up. I'll have the other one on the way now, thank God. Uh, which is, I'm going to get the name wrong again, Sonic Chaos Emeralds or something like that. But I've actually picked up Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, you have to have this. I had to get this game. Uh, I'll be glad to complete uh, the Sonic collection on the Master System, to be honest, because I'll, I'll have all of them then. It'd be good news. But what can I say about Sonic? This game is one I have played and absolutely loved. Um, and as I say, I've never played number two and it's really, really weird. After really enjoying this first one, I never even bothered with number two, to be honest. But it's just the way it goes. But believe me, I'm going to make up for it and play that one now. But so happy to get this into the collection. Um, another nostalgic game of mine. Um, but yet again playing these on my mate's system not my own because I, I never had I never had the system I just played them on my friends um, but anyway Sonic the Hedgehog what more can I say classic classic title um, very very happy to have this in my collection at last just looking forward to getting the last one and that completes the lot in so that is game 57 guys Sonic the Hedgehog and we're up on the third shelf now 58. I bought this game, uh, the first game, this is the sequel that I've got now, I bought the first game, I think it was two weeks ago I showed that, and <clears throat> not a bad version of the game, Mega Drive is a better version, a lot of a break up in the game and the game slows down a lot, it's okay, but I find this game plays a lot, lot better, and I'm, I do quite like this sequel to be honest, and it is... Um, Strider 2, uh, as I say, this came out on the Mega Drive also, uh, but I've never actually played it until I bought this on the Mass System. I've got this one back because I, I did originally own this and I didn't have the instructions for it, so I'm just picking at the ones eventually that I did used to own and then just buying them back with the instructions. But as I say, I like this game. Um, 
bit underrated really I suppose um, I, I just I just think it's a very very good game it plays a lot better than the um, Master System Strider anyway I can tell you that much and I like the cool, uh, cool cover art so at least it don't look like Freddy Star it looks, actually looks like a, a decent Strider guy don't I but anyway that is game 57 no that's game 58 guys man I'm losing Kent and I losing it that's game 58 guys that is Strider 2 very very good title Game 59, a homage to Chris the Shanks, yes, it's Chuck Rock, um, absolutely awesome game, this is a classic, classic game, originally owned this on the, mass, uh, the Mega Drive, um, so very, very happy to own this at last on the Master System, it's got five levels this one has, um, graphically, hey, it's, it's, it's a good game, bland backgrounds, um, spent more on the foreground than the background um, you know but the, the game is good it, it's just an excellent platforming game I uh, absolutely love uh, Son of Chuck so I'm thinking I'm going to hold on to that one and I'm going to beat this first and then go and finish off that one playing properly aren't you but um, absolutely fantastic game very very happy to have this game in the collection at last and uh, looking forward to seeing that tattoo of yours mate definitely um, but there you go that's game 59, that is Chuck Rock. And game number 60. Uh, the only reason I bought this is I seen a video, 16-bit uh, Brit, um, and he, I th I'm sure it's like a kind of a review for it, um, for the Game Gear. Um, and, well, the Game Gear games and the Master System are just, just basic ports out of the same game. And I was pretty impressed with this game. Um, I didn't like this game on the Mega Drive at all, or the Mega CD, but this Master System game is not a bad uh, platforming game, and it is Batman Returns. Very, very good. I really do like this game. Um, as I say, there's five rounds to this one, um, and it, it just plays well, and it, 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 it for a Batman uh, for the Batman title, as per usual, it plays, I think, probably not as good as Batman on the Mega Drive, but play certainly a close second to it but um, much much prefer this uh, version of Batman Returns than the Mega Drive it's terrible and the, and the Mega CD ver version was terrible but um, very good uh, very good game indeed and 16-bit uh, Brit was uh, bang on the money with that one I tell you very very good game indeed but there you go guys that is game number 60 Boom, as Grubgun used to say. Now, there you go, guys. That's game 60. I'm going to carry on. I've got a few more to show you. Another few episodes. Um, I am going to call it quit soon, I guarantee you that, because uh, I've got Christmas coming, so I can't be blowing all my money, and plus the PS4's on the way soon. So, you know, I'm just going to tell you, I'm just going to try and hit 100 games if I can. Get it to 100 and then call it quits till next year then. But um, still got games to show you. I still got games coming in the post. So I'm nearly there guys. So probably another three weeks probably. And then I'm going to call it quits. But anyway guys, that's this episode done and dusted. Uh, just a quick uh, thanks to uh, a few more subscribers over the last few days. Thanks guys for subscribing. Um, hope you're enjoying the channel. Um, just going to try and keep up the, the good content as much as I can. Um, good luck to Chris Shanks uh, with his tattoo uh, next Friday, a week Friday. So that should be interesting. Um, looking forward to seeing that mate. And uh, don't forget, check my last video out. Uh, please do make a donation to Chris's um, charity he's doing. For the Aspergia Foundation um, and my item ain't doing too bad somebody's actually bid on it hopefully get a few more bids to be honest but uh, anyway guys I'm going to leave it there thanks for watching I am Cybersnake7 and as always guys keep playing keep watching